Now, I've O-line. I think that's an obvious one. You're yeah. right. You hit on all that. But I'm going to say specifically Kendrick Green. Fair enough. Like, what are we going to do here? Seriously, he was just beat out by J.C. Mm-hmm. Hassenauer in this season at pick. center. Mm-hmm. Ben has already said he thinks he's a guard. But mm-hmm. how much better do you think Kendrick Green is at guard versus, let's just say we leave it as it is without even bringing Trey Turner back. Correct. Then Dawson or LeGlue. I'm with you. So he's mm-hmm. going to be a backup? We spend a third-round pick on a backup center and guard? You know how, like? Like, bro, you know how hard that would be. Oh, man. It's not like we haven't done it before, though. I Because you could look back on Sanquez Golston. and we spent a second-round pick on but, him. But like remember, Mike Sanquez, Adams. But the difference with Sanquez, he was Dree hurt. Archer, third round. Sanquez was hurt. Dree, I think Dree is definitely a good comp because Dree was a guy that we... But I, even then, because I was my first year here, we were viewing him as a gadget guy because we had L. Bell and LeGarrette Blunt. Those are going to be the two power, yeah. the, the the main backs. And we said Drew was going to be our speed. It was supposed to be like our Anthony McFarlane. Yeah, it was like, accessory. go return kicks. We're trying to get AB off of special teams and put Dre out there. But for Dre, he just didn't want to get hit running 4 2. It's a difference. It's, it is. He man. is really tiny. Yeah, bro. Like, I remember I, I've, I watched like a highlight of him at Kent State and he looks small. But then when we actually came and we're in Pittsburgh together, and you see him in person, you're like, bro, you are tiny. He almost put me in the mind. I don't know if you remember this guy, Brandon Banks. He used to he was a return man for the Washington Redskins and um, Detroit around that same time frame, 10 to 14, 15 time. But he was a small cat. But he actually ran for it too. He he play out there that speed. He took some stuff to the house too, man. Good player. But that was the issue. I always felt with Dree. He just he was so little, man. He was not trying to get hit running that fast. It needs to be addressed. I yeah. don't know how we address it because I looked at our track record with those guys. It's usually mm-hmm. we give them two years before we cut them, both yeah. with Golson, Mike Adams, and mm-hmm. Dre Archer. Like I said, with Adams and with Golson, they spent time on like IR, injured reserve, yeah. or being hurt. Green just wasn't playing good. So what do we do? I don't feel good about having him just be our backup next year. Yeah, because everybody says move him to guard, and I, I personally think he's too small to play guard. I think he's he's a very undersized player, and when you're undersized like that, and you're in a system where we're asking you to do power blocking stuff, that's a little bit of a mismatch. You know what I mean? Like he I t- he's built the zone block. He's a speed guy. He's undersized, but with undersized guys, you use them in position blocking and stuff like that. Now the big the big thing for him is he still has to understand pad low. He has to understand hand placement. Because it doesn't matter zone scheme or power scheme when O line, I mean when D linemen are getting their hands on your chest and driving you three yards, four yards in the backfield. It doesn't matter what you're trying to accomplish. That can't work. It just can't. So those are some areas that he has to improve upon. But I do think part of it is a little bit of the scheme for him. When you're asking him to take on a guy head up and try to move him off the ball, that's not his game. For him. He's a speed guy. You see him pulling him around. You see him getting upfield sometimes when he's trying to make, yeah. you know, he gets, you know, he get his thing going. Like, yeah. that's that's what he does, man. So, for me, I look at him in that vein. I just. <sighs> it needs to be addressed. I don't know how yeah. you address it. <laughs> and like you said, because it was just a year ago. You can't bring you, him back at center. Right. It's, Unless he makes massive improvements and we see him coming out in training camp right. being amazing. Do we see that happen, though? Yeah. Probably not. I think that's less likely than him just moving to guard and being decent at guard but i mean yeah. like i said compared to the, what the guards we have right now and that's not even including us bringing trey turner back like he'll get lost mm-hmm. in the shuffle we spent a third round pick on him but i could see egos getting in the way all right we spent a third rounder on him let's trot him out there at either center at either guard that's or whatever my thing. I, and, and i don't think, i don't really like that w- but would you be surprised if that was the case and Probably that's, not. that's my issue i wouldn't be surprised man i just feel like we know this is the approach that they like to take. We know this is the mindset in terms of how they like to operate in this capacity. Yeah, 